Hi, my name is Alex with Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be comparing OneNote versus Confluence. Which one's the better collaboration tool for you and your team? Well, let's find out in this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. How does your team articulate their thoughts and ideas? Did you know that a picture is worth a thousand words? Let me introduce you to our exclusive sponsor for our Confluence videos, Gliffy. With Gliffy for Confluence, you can effortlessly create stunning flowcharts, mind maps, wireframes, and so much more, all directly from within Confluence itself. No more jumping to a different application or dealing with clunky integrations. Check out the link in the description below and start a free trial of Gliffy today. We're gonna start off by comparing and contrasting OneNote versus Confluence in five different categories. First up, let's talk about purpose and functionality. Confluence is designed for collaboration. It is a truly collaborative environment where anything that you do in here, whether you're writing a page, sharing a space, the whole thing is centered around a team. Now, when we compare and contrast that over with OneNote, OneNote is a very personal digital notebook. Think back to grade school, high school, college, where you had your physical notebooks, your physical binders with notes inside of it. Well, OneNote is basically just going to try to mimic that kind of feeling in a digital world. Now you can share, and we'll talk about that more in the next category, but while we do have some collaborative features, the intent isn't really to like expose everything. It's really designed to kind of just help you almost be like a second brain and jot your personal thoughts down on a digital paper. Now you can do this also with Confluence. Every team member, when they sign up, if your administrators allow it, allow you to have a personal space, so you can have personal spaces here, or you're gonna be in a communal space. And the only difference is, is that your personal spaces, as the name implies, a little bit more personal, although you can share it and collaborate with others in it, or you're gonna collaborate in a communal space, which is just an open forum for everybody in your team to come and collaborate and create notes. So on the topic of collaboration, let's go over to category number two. Let's talk about collaboration features. As I mentioned, Confluence is designed all on collaboration. So when you go into a space page, whether it's inside of a communal or personal, so we're just going to go into one. So whenever you're in any page, the moment that you're in here, you can share this page automatically. You can have multiple watchers. So multiple people can be notified of the changes that are, are or are not happening inside of Confluence. And most importantly, everybody can work on this page at the same time. So you can see who's up here. You can invite people. You can also lock the pages. So if you only want team members to be able to access a specific page or a specific space, all of that is designed into Confluence's DNA so that the right people can see and edit the right information and you don't have an overflow or a bleed of insensitive information that shouldn't be touched or seen by other members on your team. Now, when we compare that to OneNote, we do have the ability to share, but you're sharing an entire notebook. And that gets a little bit trickier because then you have to really think about the architecture of how you configure and set up your notebooks here. And we are going to talk about that in the next category. But overall, it's you don't really have the same level of granularity when it comes to permissions and who can or can't collaborate on a specific notebook. Now, you're still going to be able to have collaboration. You're still going to be able to share these notebooks with other folks. But it almost feels like you're exposing yourself a little bit too much because, again, the intent, the 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 feeling that Microsoft gives you when we're looking at OneNote is really that of a more second brain, right? Where you're just jotting the notes down versus when we're looking at Confluence, we really don't, like it's it's not, I mean, other than that personal space, everything else feels like it's centered around a team. So Confluence is really, really geared towards these collaborative environments and collaborative natures that we tend to have when we're working in a team. Category number three, structure and organization. So I'm actually gonna close out of this for a second so you can kind of see how pages are structured. On the left-hand side, you have the ability to basically create any kind of page. And any page can have children pages by simply clicking on this little plus button. And you can go deep. You can nest your pages as deep as you need to. And you can do a very 
very advanced sometimes um, hierarchy of just different pages and how they're organized and categorized. And also keep in mind that those pages can then be restricted so that only the right people can see the right information at the right time. But you have a lot of fluidity. You can have basically full freedom to organize your pages however you want. You can always move pages. So if I wanted to just put this underneath here, you can just simply drag on top of it, then they're nested. You can do more the way you want. So you have full creative freedom. When you're creating a brand new page, you can move pages, you can drag and drop. So you have a lot, a lot of freedom and control as to how you organize your thoughts. Now, with great power comes great responsibility and probably one of the hardest things about Confluence is figuring out what kind of structure do I want? Like, how do I want to structure and organize my information? And so that does become a little bit more challenging because you can basically do it however you want. Confluence isn't gonna restrict you to a specific way. It's going to give you that creative freedom to set up pages however you want. Now on the OneNote side, we basically create a notebook. So that's the whole notebook. And then within notebooks, we create sections. And so you can create multiple sections for different projects you may be on. and that's pretty much it. You, once you're there, you're just creating like individual pages and there's really no structure to it as well. But I feel like it's just like the UI is not as inviting. So I can create multiple notebooks, change them for different colors and then add different pages within the different notebooks. But then things get a little bit more complex. Now I haven't tested this out, but searching for your information then becomes not as trivial because now you got to remember where did I put that information? Versus as a little added bonus, the little search bar up here for Confluence, you just type in a word and Confluence is automatically gonna go and find it. It doesn't matter where in that structure or hierarchy your information is, you're gonna be able to find it. And additionally, every page, at the very, very bottom of every page, and let me actually go into an actual page, you can see here that we can add labels. And when you add a label, then that makes your searching even more easier because now you can categorize and just simply search for those labels and find your information even more quickly. So as a little 3.5 category, that search capability is just gonna be spot on and a lot better, in my opinion, based on based on my experience of how I use OneNote over the last 10 years, I really, really like how Confluence lets you organize and search for information as well. So let's talk about category number four, integration and compatibility. OneNote is part of the Microsoft suite. So naturally, it's gonna plug and play with the rest of the Office suite really, really well. So whether you're in Teams taking notes or Office or Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, the fluidity between the different Microsoft tools is gonna to be really, really spot on as OneNote is designed to work in this fashion. When we compare and contrast that with Confluence though, Obviously, the first big heavy hitter that Confluence has is that it integrates with Jira. So when you go into a Jira project and you're inside of basically any project that you want, you have a project pages section down here that allows you to connect to Confluence. And so now your Confluence and your Jira are talking to each other. You can reference Jira issues in Confluence, pages in Confluence can then be visualized from within Jira. It's very, very interoperable and it's really, really neat. The other really, really cool thing about Confluence that you don't really get with something like OneNote is that of app support. If you've been looking on the left-hand side of my screen here, you would have seen Gliffy. Now, I would like to remind you that Gliffy is our official Confluence sponsor. Are you struggling to get your points across in a meeting? Have you tried showing your team a diagram instead? Gliffy makes intuitive drag and drop diagramming software that helps teams of all types collaborate more effectively. Gliffy's deep integrations with Confluence and Jira make it the leading Atlassian diagramming tool, allowing users to create everything from technical diagrams describing software architecture to basic mind maps to capture ideas. Give our friends over at Gliffy some love and start a free trial using the link in the description down below. But what makes this really, really cool is when I go to create a page, I can very easily just go and basically name this like my diagram. And then over here, I can go and add Gliffy diagrams. And I can just very easily drastically expand the power of Confluence. Now Gliffy is just one of hundreds and hundreds of different apps that are available in the Atlassian marketplace. And so thus, you can really expand the powers of Confluence. You can put things like document approvals, you can do 
and fancier things with like Excel, like tables and formatting. You can bring in custom charts for Confluence and bring in a lot of your facts and data and your metrics and reporting from Jira into Confluence natively. You can bring in your Jira advanced roadmaps or your timelines into Confluence as well. So there's a lot of integrations, a lot of centralized locations. And I really, really like this feature. And let me tell you why, because when you can like have a stakeholder page where you can have a, a single location where you can see all the important information, requirements, testing the results, right? You can put links to other pages and other tools, and then it's all just in one place. Well, no longer does your team have to be taxed with the overhead of having to go figure out where everything's at. Confluence is just gonna integrate to it and it's gonna let you find that information way, way quicker. And then finally, let's talk about access and controls. In Confluence, as I mentioned, every single page can have restrictions. So you can come to your page. If you don't want somebody else to see it, you can click, simply click on this little lock. Obviously, I don't have it because I'm on the free version, but essentially you can lock this pages. You can call out who has access. You can call out who has the ability to edit. And you have a lot of granularity on like with respect to who's able to access the page. Now at the space level, you also have space settings that allow you to control who's gonna be able to view your stuff. So you can assign it to an entire group, you can assign it to a specific individual, and, and you have a lot more creativity here so that you can really fine tune who and what is gonna be able to access your personal and team information. Because when you compare it to OneNote, you don't have the same levels of granularity. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you're gonna be able to share your entire notebook and you might not want to do that. You might wanna keep things a little bit more private. And while you can, you do have some control whether somebody can edit or view, that's gonna be cool, but it's just not gonna be the same level of granularity and control that you're gonna get out of Confluence. And that's kind of it. Those are my top five categories of comparisons between OneNote and Confluence. And let me know in the comment section down below, which tool are you using and have you considered switching from one to the other? I personally use Confluence almost every single day. I used to be a huge OneNote user, but that was before I discovered the way and that was before I discovered Confluence. So again, if you're the type of team or individual that wants to really create a, a place for collaboration and you want the ultimate collaboration tool with the most amount of plugins and the most amount of integrations with all the other tools in your domain, things like Figma and, and obviously Gliffy, and it's just gonna be a great tool for you and your team to consider. And it also just gets bundled into your Atlassian build anyways. So it's just going to be one bill and all the settings and all the administration is handled by your same administrators that help you with Jira. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully I convinced you to go give Confluence a try if you haven't tried it out already. And these are my top five comparisons between OneNote and Confluence. Is your team having a hard time collaborating? Then you need to try out Gliffy for Confluence. Collaboration has never been easier. Gliffy for Confluence allows your team to work together in real time, making edits, providing feedback, and driving productivity. Say goodbye to version control headaches and hello to seamless teamwork. Show our sponsor the power of the internet and start a free trial to Gliffy for Confluence using the link in the description down below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need